Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making earrings and pendants with flat wire and miracle beads. I'm using 3mm flat artistic wire, 22 gauge wire, head pins, hooks, beads, and my tools. I'll start with about 6 inches of flat wire and I'm actually poking holes with this little hole punch. I'll link up my tools in the description below. This is from my metal stamping kit and we are just going to poke a bunch of holes that are about 3 quarters of an inch apart. I will show you another method to do this without the hole punch after this project. So now we are going to take our looping pliers and just curve the wire in between each set of holes. So we're going to curve it around and we want the holes to line up as we are doing this. So just hold it with the looping pliers. These are the six step looping pliers from Beadalon. We're going to curve the wire around and keep going until we've used the wire. So curve it around, line up the holes, go very gently. It's a little bit fragile. Be careful to make your holes so they're centered so the wire won't snap. And we're just going to curve the wire around. So now we have our little zigzags. The lines are all lined up. So we're going to take a head pin Put it through the first hole, put on a six millimeter miracle bead, and then stick the head pin through the next hole and keep adding beads to stack them up in between the loops on the flat wire. So just go slowly, pop on those beads. I love these miracle beads. I will link up where you can get them in the description below. And we're just going to stack a few different colors of these six millimeter miracle beads. So once we've got that, we're going to press the wires together so there's no slack and cut it to about three eighths to half an inch and use our looping pliers to do a little centered loop at the top. So just wiggle it around until that little gap is closed and then just press it flat with the flat pliers. These are the tweezer nose pliers from Zeron. And so once we have that done, we're going to take our flush cutters and just clip off the extra wire. So just flip it around and clip the extra wire off the top. There's many different ways we can do designs like this. This is a simple design and I'm just going to round off the corners so they're not sharp. So just go to the other side, just clip off those little corners so it won't be sharp. And from there we can get a jump ring, stick it on the top and that would make a really cute pendant. So for the earrings, if you don't have a hole punch, we're just going to go ahead with the looping pliers and make a little loop that will be at one end. And then we're gonna go to the larger part of the looping pliers and start doing our little S formation. So just go back and forth. I love these looping pliers because you can get even sized loops and they're not tapered. So the loops are very straight and it's perfect for the flat wire. So we're gonna go back and forth to do as many loops as we want. Just making sure we make them all the same size. Back and forth. So hold it with the tools and then just bend the wire around. And then at the other end, we can do a little loop, bring it around. And then we're gonna have to clip it with our flush cutters. Give it a good little clip. And from there, I'm going to take some 22 gauge wire and stick on one of our miracle beads, the six millimeter miracle bead. And near the bottom, we're just going to wind it around to hold one of the beads in place. You're better to start sort of in the middle of the piece because if you try to start at one end, it's really hard to wind it. 
so it's secure. So now once that one's in place, we're going to wind it around a couple of times into the bottom loop. So we're just going to keep going with this until we have beads in each of the sections. Again, using the six millimeter miracle beads, put on another one and wind it around. And then stick another bead on there. These miracle beads come in all kinds of beautiful colors. They are acrylic beads and they have a nice little sheen and a three dimensional quality to them. They're very lightweight and they're beautiful, beautiful beads. So just keep winding that wire around and we'll get another bead, stick it up at the top. And of course I've cut my wire way too long, but better too long than too short. So now that we have all the beads in place, we are going to clip that wire flush. And again, on the other end, we'll just get right in there with our flush cutters and clip it. And then we're going to pinch the wires in place with our tweezer nose pliers. And then we're going to pinch them together so they're nice and discreet underneath the loop. Make sure they're nice and hidden there. And then we're going to close up that gap in the loop. We'll do the same on the other side just to finish it off so there's no little pokey ends. Do any little adjustments that you need. And then I'm going to get a jump ring and put it on the top and get a earring hook. This is the surgical steel earring hooks. I buy them in bulk. And then we're going to give it a little half twist so it sits properly. And there are our beautiful beaded earrings with the flat wire. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.